Regular journaling for me is actually kind of free therapy sessions that I have with myself. So if you're struggling with regulating your emotions or you're struggling with focus, you're not sure what to do with your life, then I highly recommend you to do this if you cannot afford to go to a therapist. And on that note, in this video, I'm going to tell you five ways that you can start to journal right away. The first kind of journal, the easiest, the most beginner friendly, is the brain dump kind of journal. If you're just starting out on your journaling journey and you're not sure where to begin, then I highly recommend you to just start with this brain dump journal. Basically write everything that's going on in your head, either in the morning or in the evening. This is the kind of journal that I do the most, honestly, especially when I first started because I just had a lot of negative thoughts in my head and I feel like if I don't get everything out on paper, then I'm going to dwell more and more on these negative feelings to the point that I cannot sleep well at night and I cannot focus during the day and I literally cannot do anything but thinking about these silly thoughts. If you're feeling like me, that you're feeling very imbalanced with your emotions, you don't know what to do with all these thoughts you have in your head, then please try this Prendam journal for two weeks. I would suggest that you do it daily or at least every other day. It doesn't have to be anything fancy or it doesn't have to be long. You can just write a few lines each day, maybe five to six lines at least, and just to get it going. It can be a little bit hard at first, I feel like I was a little bit embarrassed when I first started to journal, but it's gonna get better, I promise. The second kind of journal that I wanna talk in today's video, which is very popular for a lot of people who journal is gratitude. Um, if you do regular gratitude journaling, you're going to find a lot of happiness in your present moment. It's really easy and it's effective. There are a lot of gratitude journal prompts that you can find online, but the easiest way to do this is you just think of three things that you're grateful for every day when you wake up or even in the evening. I know that a lot of people like this kind of journal and they say that it really helps them to find grounding in their life, but I honestly don't like it that much because I feel like when I tried gratitude journaling, I kind of fell into a slump. I kept repeating the things that I wrote the previous days because there's not a lot for me to find grateful for when I live alone and I work from home being a you know online English teacher and a content creator. A lot of my daily things are just the same every single day. So I'm not sure how people do that. Maybe they have more interesting life than me. <laughs> but let me know if you like gratitude journaling. I would love to hear your opinions on this. We're moving on to the third kind of journal, which is my favorite kind of journal lately. It is the self-discovery journaling. I often do this when I'm in a good or in a stable mood. I feel like self-discovery journaling is a very romantic way that you can do to yourself because you will learn a lot about yourself in the process. It's like taking yourself on a date, but through journaling. You're going to learn a lot about what you like, what you dislike, what your goals are, what your dreams are, your aspirations, who you look up to, the people around you that add value in your life, things like that. So to find the prompts, you basically go on Pinterest. Everything is free there. So just write self-discovery journal prompts. There are tons of prompts for you to choose from. These are really interesting and I'm always excited whenever I do this self-discovery journal sections. I'm just gonna find an example of the problems that I found on Pinterest very randomly. I'm gonna read some of the questions to you. So I found there's 10 questions to know about yourself. What is something you love about yourself? What makes you come alive? What does a perfect day look like to you? The fourth kind of journal that I want to introduce in today's video is the daily mindfulness journal. I feel like mindful journaling is kind of a combination between a gratitude journal, brain dumb, self-reflection, but on a more positive note, when you practice mindfulness, 
it's kind of like you acknowledge what your body feels that day, how your physical or emotional state is. You kind of acknowledge and accept everything that you are. You allow yourself to feel every little emotions that you need to feel. You don't judge yourself for it. After a while of regular journaling practice, I feel like I am more in balance of my emotions, but it doesn't mean that I don't have low days. I feel like low days are so underrated because it is a part of life, a part of being human. And through practicing mindfulness journals, I feel like I don't resent myself. I don't feel disappointed in myself for feeling those things, for being sad. All right, we're moving to the last kind of journal which is shadow work now this is the kind of journal that i think a lot of people do in therapy because it is going to trigger you kind of and it's going to help heal the inner child of you through shadow work you're going to find your emotional triggers the root causes of your thought patterns and how you can thrive and become your most authentic self without all the judgment that you have for yourself, you're going to realize that a lot of the habits that you have now is related to the past. It's related to how the people in your childhood treated you, taught you. This is very different from everyone, but I feel like if you had an unhappy childhood, doing shadow work is going to help you acknowledge and accept those traits about yourself. And through acknowledging these thoughts, you're going to heal from them. You're going to grow from them. Not resenting or being disappointed in yourself or having this negative voice in your head that's telling you that this is wrong. So I have some of the sample questions here that I'm going to read for you. What am I most afraid of others finding out about myself? What is the biggest, most mortifying lie I ever told myself? What's made me start doubting myself as a kid? What aspects of my life do I project onto others in an unhealthy way? If you watch till the end of this video, thank you so much. And I do have a 30 day journal prompt challenge that you can just print it out for free and pin it on the fridge and start to journal from today. It's going to be a fun way that you challenge yourself to write more and knowledge, acknowledge how you feel after the challenge. All right, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time. Bye.